Okay, I've set this thing up for uh, target superheat. It's 82.6, 83 now, uh, ambient temperature. And 26.3 is the target superheat. We're just a little bit lower now to 25.2. Now we're going to put a large load on this machine. Note the amp draw is 7.1 at 245 volts. Taking a look at the inside, we are almost 99 degrees return air. It's almost 70 degrees supply. And we're actually pulling 29 28.8 uh, uh, degrees across the coil. Very high load. The machine has reacted to it. It's moving more heat out of the structure uh, than when the load was lower. All right, with that high load inside, our outdoor ambient's about 85. Uh, had pressures up to 269. Section 76. Uh, odd thing about the subcool, very high, sub uh, superheat, very high, gone way up. And let's see what happened to the amp draw. Look at that amp draw. It's 7.46. That's running just a bit over what it was under much lower load conditions. Okay, I've got as high a load as I dare put on the inside. Now what I'm going to do, increase the head by blocking the condenser. Now I've blocked that condenser quite a bit. And the head pressure is going through the roof. Okay, now we've got some crazy conditions. We're over 400 pounds on head, 100 pounds on suction. Uh, Superheat's down, sub cools up. A little weird. Uh, let's take a look at amp drop. Okay, the amp draw is now above rated load. It's 11.2. One four. It can't survive running that way. It'll kill it. It'll probably kick off the compressor on internal overload. Let's look at what's going on inside and see what the temperature split is. Okay, we're still doing 29 split. 72 supply, 100 return. Now this thing is actually performing quite well, but it is overdrawing, and that compressor is either going to die or it's going to go out on overload if I leave this on much longer. So now I think we'll discuss what we did here and what were the reactions of the machine. Okay, as you can see, when we just had the high load on the machine, the suction pressure went up, the head pressure went up, but it didn't go up massively, and notably, the amp draw did not increase a lot from 7.1 to 7.46. Well, where it really raised was when we blocked the condenser and got the head pressure way high, 425 pounds. Okay, then, we exceeded the amp draw of the compressor. So you can kind of see what's going on here. Okay, so when the head pressure went way up, that's when we had the problem with the high amp draw.